What's up, royal family? What's up, y'all? I miss y'all so much. Am I hurting you? Nah, you good. So, a lot of you guys probably looking at this video and you guys thought we was going to be doing a lick my body challenge. But we'll save that for a whole nother, like, video. Today's video is to talk about why we kept our relationship a secret from you guys and how we turn from friends into what we are now. As y'all know, me and Queen are together and um, we, we moved in as we previously announced. It's... <laughs> you know, you sound I'm like, trying to put my stuff together, like put put it in my head. You sound like somebody's uh, granddad about to get him a lecture. She said, <laughs> "It's <laughs> like I'm trying to put in words." A lot of people say, "Like, oh, you guys are moving too fast, or you guys are like going too fast," or but I feel like uh, this whole time people tried to rush us. People tried to rush us to confirm what we was. Because I don't know if it's like y'all love this thing. Y'all love like couple goals and relationship goals and all that kind of stuff because of social media. But that's not what it's about. So, um, like we just really didn't, we didn't want to rush into saying anything. And people was getting frustrated with us. Like, oh my God, y'all need to date already. Or y'all need to tell us this. Y'all need to tell us that. Or they was calling me like. Like a clout chaser. Yeah, same thing. Because was, I wasn't confirming anything or like. Or like going saying as anything. Up, yeah, like claiming me. Yeah, or going as fast as they wanted me to. Yeah. Like, you know, but like I've always told Queen, like, like. I've said this before, but me and Queen has always been on the same page, like, every, throughout every step of, like, this whole journey. I've, I know I've been honest with you. I've been honest with you too. Off from, like, from the real. So now that we are, like, in a relationship we've confirmed it with everyone it's a lot of people that are saying that we move too fast and it's a lot of people that's saying like you see that mm -hmm. and it's a lot of people also saying that like um like this is too much for them to, that we have to slow down well i just want to say truthfully like this may be really you okay yeah i'm trying to get comfortable <laughs> this may be like new to y'all but it's not really new to us we kept our stuff on a low low for a reason. We were like affectionate behind closed doors. Yeah, so with when y'all say, oh, Clarence don't care for her or Clarence don't show as much as affection, like. Like he was showing affection, but it just wasn't for the on camera. camera. And I'm not used to doing that on, like, on camera, you know? Yeah. But, like, so now y'all know, you know. We do like do more stuff on camera, like we kiss, like we a little bit more comfortable on camera. But I don't want it to turn into like a social media relationship. I just want y'all to enjoy, enjoy our love that we have for each other, and whatever we show towards each other, it's natural. It's not ever like for the camera, like oh let me kiss you for the camera. Let me, no, like it's because well sometimes I just like want to kiss you. Everything that we do is like, um, we really like need organic. It. It's organic, and if it happens on camera, then it just happens. But we don't do it for the camera, get it? It's like two different things. So, um, we wanted to tell you guys the story on how it led to this and how it went from actually being a friendship to a relationship. Or how we knew that it was more than just a friendship. Um, and it happened around a particular time when... Um, I was staying with Claire for a little bit and we were we were always together like we sleep in the same bed like we was doing videos together we was like really just like always you know watching movies together we was like just getting really close and just spending a lot of time together getting to know each other's personalities and everything like every that every day so one time I left for I left for they remember Huh? I remember, mama they yeah. was trying to get me to fly out there. Oh yeah, I left for a trip to Miami. I took my mom to Miami for her birthday back in April, and um, that's that's the trip. That's the time that we realized that we that it was more than just a friendship. That we meant a lot more to each other than what, yeah, what we what thought. We thought like sometimes, like and it's so true. Like sometimes when you um, like when you have something every day or when you're like. 
when when you see something or or obtain something every day you kind of lose not lose but like like you don't know what you got you don't know what it is until you lose it like you don't know how valuable something is until it you don't have it anymore you know yeah. what i mean so and when she went to miami what was that like a whole week or two weeks man okay so it's weird yeah i did go to miami for like about like a whole like past a week but we it had only been three days so we start texting one night and this is where it gets juicy so we was texting one night and i was basically telling him like dang it's only been three days and I, I miss you like crazy and he was like yeah i miss you too it was like my you said my days haven't been the same yeah without you he was yeah. like my sleep haven't been the same everything like, was much different like i i think we spent like probably like a month for each other when i left i took it like hard because it was only three days and i was like why the hell do i feel like i left you for like i was three more weeks. confused he was more confused. I was more confused because it's like, in my head, I was kind of like, nah, I don't want to say fighting it. You were fighting but it. kind of fighting it. Like, because it's was. like, I wasn't sure how or why this was happening to me, you know? Like, or why, like, you were happening to me, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I've been honest with you from, from, from Rip, like... I, I I was love like I love someone else and mm-hmm. we, I just got out of a relationship. And me too. I had just not got that out of I wanted too. to be with that person, but just how could you love someone else so you, quick? Yeah, like how could you love someone else so quick? You so know I mean? this is the part where we found out that we love each other because we was the same time it was texting. We just started like I don't know. It, the conversation just got a little deeper, and he was like, you know, my days ain't been the same without you and this and that. So I Let's started. Read it for him. Okay. Let's read something for them. Okay. Um, I was like, it's only been three days and it feels like the longest three days ever. You said, tell me about it, love. Okay, so we went to telling each other how much we miss each other and all this stuff. And then he said he was confused. So then he asked me. I said, I have a question. You was just in love with someone that's different from me. What makes you so sure about me? I just felt like whenever it came to like, I was just just trying to prevent myself for no, you was fighting it. Yeah, no, you was fighting. fighting. Yeah. She answered, should I read the whole thing? She said, Claire, da da. I fell out of love a long time ago. But with you, you have another the court. Oh. Just go down here. She said, But with you, like you're very different from what I'm used to. I'm not used to someone really pushing me to love myself. And not one time have I ever seen you get big headed, even though you could be. I fell in love with your humbleness and realness. You don't go out in the crowd doing too much and looking for too much because you have a confidence. What the heck? Oh, I can't really see this. Oh, because you have a confidence instilled in you already. And you're just so So much much more more mature. mature and you're a man. And I never had a man. I've always had boys. You never sold me dreams, always told the truth. I don't know. Every day we spent, I tried to fight it. I really did, but it happened naturally. I can't tell you I'm perfect at all. I can't tell you that I won't get on your nerves or have the best attitude sometimes, but I know that I have unconditional love and loyalty. I always give 100%. Okay, so he he proceeds to say, um, this, this is funny, because I gotta kinda like read it and think about your voice. You want me reading my voice? I can read it. Okay, he said, baby girl, I, baby girl, when he said that, first of all, my whole heart just, like, melted into pieces. But anyway, baby girl, I think you deserve so much. I don't want you to look at me. Please stop. Stop. Don't look at me. Please. You make me, like, for real. You make me nervous. Okay, he said, baby girl, I think you deserve so much. And I want you to have it all. You're going to be legendary. And <laughs> I'm, right. Okay. And I'm glad I've been a part of the process. Your heart makes me want to give you everything you ask for. I never want to say no to you. You just deserve it. You deserve to step on nothing but gold, queen. 
make sure you remember that never let anyone make you feel different i look at you now and i see a woman that's successful and independent and she comes with spice it turns me on <laughs> Right. Queen, something about you keeps my eye on you. Stop it, because you know you make me nervous when you do that. Like, for real. The fact you behind me and so down for me, I love. All right. So, after that message, I guess he went back to the part when I was like, I have unconditional love and, you know, like... So he said, so you think you love me? And I was like, um, th this is so embarrassing to me. I hope people don't. Oh, it's not embarrassing. Is it embarrassing to you? Okay. So he was like, so you think you love me? And I was like, um, no. I was like, I know I love you. Like you know. I was like, I know I love you. <laughs> I'm really sure. I was sure, like, for real. I was like, I know when I love someone, you know. And, um, and I was like, truthfully, like, even if you don't say it, like, I really don't, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say something just because you said it. I'm going to say it because I actually feel it and it's real. And that's what I meant, you know, even if you don't feel that way. So then he told me, then he told me, I love you, queen, and something else and just that, but. That's what stood out to me the most when he said that he loved me too. And that's the first time he ever said he loved me. And um, he was just like basically saying that he didn't, he didn't want, he's kind of scared because he didn't like want nothing to get ruined because he you knows stuff changes like after, you know, stuff changes Some, after. Sometimes like when you put title on stuff. When you put a title on stuff, it changes. So. You know, like, we both confirmed to each other that we loved each other at that moment. And we decided from that point that we were just going to continue our friendship. We didn't jump into nothing right then and there just because we said we loved each other. We no. knew that we loved each other. I think I said after that, I think I said, like, like I love you, Queen, but, like, let's continue. Let's continue to build our friendship and, you know, you know, grow our like work on our relationship and see how it goes you yeah. know and see how it turns out and so from that part like from there like when i got back we just like kind of grew like much more closer much in closer. an intimate way and it was like more like affectionate i think if y'all go back y'all gonna actually see that like is that when i came back and you bought me the slippers on camera yeah I, I bought I bought you um He bought me the Gucci slides. Yeah, you told me you didn't have any sandals up there. Yeah, any yeah, I, I told him that I didn't have no sandals in Miami, like not no you cute wish you stuff. Would ask yeah, and so he thought about me after that and, and and bought me the Gucci slides. So after that we got more like comfortable with each other, but we still didn't confirm nothing. We was like on the low just like talking and stuff like that and you know, just only me and you knew. Yeah, only me and him knew. Not even like Patty and P.O. Yeah, yeah, Patty and P.O., they didn't even know. Like, we were so low because... Why was we so low? Because, like... I think it was more because of me. It was more uh, because... I'm, I'm, like, such a private person, and I just, like... I'm a firm believer, like, if nobody know what's going on, nobody could try and ruin it. Yeah. But I feel like so. the only people that can ruin it is you. Nah, you right. But I don't, I think we was just such a, like a... We wanted to be short, too. Yeah, short, like, but I don't, like, I don't want to take something to social media and then, like, don't mean it or, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, we wanted to wait till we was, like, well, I was sure at the moment. Like, I was sure how I felt about him. I think you were sure how you felt about me, but you wasn't sure if you... You wasn't sure where it was going to go because... You know how you tell somebody how you feel about them, then they get comfortable? Yeah. And then, like, they switch up? I don't mm. know if you thought I was going to switch up or what, but I didn't. In the beginning, I mean... So... Like, even before I told you I loved you, like, I cared about you. Yeah, like, you I cared, said you were saying like, that I, I cared about you, but, like, my only thing was, like... Like, you came out of something also, and, like... It we was, both it came wasn't, out of something. But it wasn't kind of like mine you know like you were like married and it was like 
I was gonna make sure we took our time with this is all. Yeah. Like, you know, I want, from your sake too, like, I want you to be sure, like, like you like me too, you know? Cause there's sometimes, nah, but you know what I mean? Like when you first get out of a relationship, you just like, you got what You I'm could saying? be like, like just talking to anybody, yeah, anybody and, and they and, could be a rebound. You could be vulnerable and maybe like, that's why you like them because they're making you feel good at this time so where you need it. So basically what you're saying, saying is you didn't know for sure if, I was using you as a rebound or not? Nah, I told you a rip. I, I know, you but you still was I'm trying to. Know. I know you and told that's why me that. We stood friends, like I told you a rip. That's not what right. But you told me that, but you also probably was still trying to figure it out because you kept asking me questions. Yeah, but I didn't. Expect, like, how do you know? But I didn't expect this to happen either. Like, I didn't expect to love you either. Like, I ain't. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Like. But sometimes the unexpected is better. Like the unplanned love. No, is yeah, better, I'm not saying right? it's not. I don't regret anything. I just, I didn't. It was very unexpected. Uh, yeah, like I didn't. We think. literally got together just to do a collab video. That's all it was supposed to be. I keep telling y'all, but I still liked him as like I still thought he was cute. Like, but after I don't know, after just spending all that time with each other, we we just got closer and just a lot of things was going on behind closed doors that y'all didn't know about and we didn't want to we didn't want to let it be known just because you keep something private don't mean you hiding it yeah we're not we're not hiding it from you guys it's just no we didn't hide it from you guys we didn't hide it it's just we wanted we wanted to keep it just between really us. i was just okay i didn't even care if y'all knew about anything i was okay as long as i knew me and him was like seeing eye to eye like that's better than being in a relationship on social media and y'all look like y'all love each other, mm -hmm. but behind closed doors, like, mm -hmm. like if there's that no affection. Been, that that could have been it too, you know, because like now at the point where we are at now, like I'm comfortable with you. Yeah. Like like I I trust you and I like I feel like we're on the same page. We you know? are. Like I feel like we are. So it's. I think waiting and being patient was like... Being patient is the best thing ever. Being friends first is the best thing ever. Honestly, like... I could tell y'all that one of the mistakes I probably did make in my last... I wasn't friends first with the person. So, like... Now, like, seeing how it is to, like, really take steps slow, you don't have to rush into stuff all the time. It, it comes out a lot better when you don't rush. Yeah. Um, but this thing here, I feel is really genuine and, you know, I really don't care what other people say. I don't care if people say that we just doing it for the camera because at the end of the day, what's understood between me and him doesn't really need to be explained to you guys. Like, only time will tell, but, um. And it's us against the world right now. Yeah. Feel me? Yeah. So, not saying like we don't. We don't care about what you guys think or anything, but like, just it's we just, know how we feel about each other. Exactly. And nobody it, can it's, change it's that. It's me and her, you know, and that's like, like her opinion is the one that matters to me the most. It's not ever, like anybody else's. Yes, at all. same with you. So, with that being said, the past few weeks for us have been really rough, um, and honestly, they been really rough for you yeah <laughs> and this is this is gonna be <laughs> you mean the past few months like nah yeah the, i'm telling you the past few weeks have oh, been yeah. hard for you as an as an artist and as a person like doing yeah. all these things and not really having time for anything and it's just been really hard and i just want to tell you that you're really like a superwoman thank you and I don't know how you do it, but you do. And you're so, you're strong, you're extremely strong. And I honestly say I wouldn't be able to do the things you do. Stop. And I, and I, love, you. <laughs> I love you too. And I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Mm. Just want to say I feel extremely blessed. Mm -hmm. Like to have you in my life, and I know you're not trying to look at me right now, but I know because you're making me nervous. I I feel extremely blessed. And mm -hmm. No, me too. Because you're such a like you're such like a good woman. Thank you. 
you you're a good man too. Really good man. Um and just if that being said, we 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 don't want to hide we don't want to hide things from you guys anymore. We want to be transparent and um with that being said, there's one more, there's one more thing one more thing. one more one more thing that we don't want to hide from you guys because we you know we feel that it's unfair and it's not something that's that should be hidden hidden so I'm not even gonna say anything I'm just gonna show you guys the next clip and we're gonna end the video and we will be back Little feet, see the little feet oh. crossed? Actually, that is so cute. Look at the little feet crossed.